Hi everyone, I got this board, uh, it's a GD42 RISC 5 processor board and uh, it's a little bit different from STM, it have its own uh, IDE, Nuclei Studio, so it's quite different experience and it's not easy to set up. So let's do it together and see what we can do. Okay, let's go to the computer and open this Edge browser and go to this gd32mcu.com URL. Uh, this URL will be in description and uh, here, please pay attention to this checkbox because sometimes it's just like that and it's really hard to see all the items, but this one helps. So uh, I already download everything like firmware library, please check this English uh, document versions here. So we need to download this one and um, I think uh, user guide is broken like right now. I will send uh, this video to Giga device so they will fix it in the future I hope. And we need this nuclear studio integrated environment. It will open um, on different URL, nucleus download PHP, and we need this Windows. I download Nucleo Studio and unpack it. Uh, I create a new folder, GD42 VF103. Uh, so Nucleo Studio is uh, based on Eclipse and it doesn't need to have any install. You just go to this folder and find this Nucleo Studio and uh, double click it to launch it. And here is one important folder is toolchain. Yes. So we have here GCC, open OCD, which is a debugger, QMU, I think QMU uh, have support for risk processor, but I don't know if it's used or not, and build tools. So yes, it's still launching, uh, it will very slow when the computer is recording a video the same time so we have to wait yes also I unpacked uh, this GD32 firmware library version 1 1.3 yes and uh, I found this uh, firmware library user guide PDF in different uh, site. I will add uh, a link to it in the description of this video. Okay, while Nucleo Studio is uh, starting up, uh, let's check up, check out uh, in our program, this Gedelin programmer. I already hook up my board to USB here it is and uh, let's check this one. Um, this, um, this tool is very helpful uh, to check uh, if uh, we have a good connection to the board and uh, all drivers are ready and everything is fine. So we have this GDLink programmer 4.6 and it has this GD link and target 
and F2 to connect and it says here connection failed. Connection failed because we didn't check uh, what device, let's make it bigger, uh, device interface is SVD. Let's change it to G tag and yes, make it more bigger and make this target connect again. Okay, it says some option bytes. It's yes, and we we can read, run. We can erase the chip. Uh, I think there are already a blink, so we can read the the program from chip. Also here it says uh, what chip we have uh, RBT6 Little Indian and we have uh, Ramadas UED uh, chip have serial number firmware version I think it's GDLink about and this is about MCU. Uh, we cannot um, scroll because this one is model. Okay, yeah. So I think it's empty right now. Oh, no, here. Let's have something. Yeah. We have plus 128 kilobytes. Yeah, so this is basically it. Okay, uh, this is about GDLink. Uh, let's check Nuclear Studio. Yeah, uh, now it's loading and we can try to open something. Uh, open project from file system. Let's check uh, directory. I think it's on D, GD, and the FireWire library have examples. Uh, let's find something simple. GPIO should be should be a simple running. Let uh, I think you need to select a folder and it will find a project, okay, close newly open, select nest detect, add project to working sets, uh, let's uh, finish as it is, oh, lamp is died. Okay, it's still on the same welcome screen we have to close it and uh, yeah we have this running led project and we can check mine C and blah 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 yes okay blah 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 so here I have GPO init, uh, port C, uh, and what pins. The, uh, the LEDs on different pins, I will show the diagram. Uh, on this board there are four pins here. Uh, here. So, but they are not on the same port. Um, and. Uh, it's uh, we can see here on port C uh, two pins zero and two and on port E we have zero and one and um, in while we have um, turn one uh, then turn yeah set one reset an hour one I think it's uh, like running on a circle. 
Okay, let's try to build it. Let's not build it. Let's see where it builds this new class. No, no, no. This one. Uh, and it's not available because we need to configure it, I think. And finally, after some struggles with uh, OpenOCD configuration, I made it run with debug. So, this build command, okay, build finished, and this uh, debug. And and no way. And open a CD has stopped working. Huh. That's strange. But without microphone, it's working. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, please uh, write in comments what should we test next on this board, because it's a very interesting board. And what should we connect? I want to experiment more with this board. And so please subscribe, like, and comment, and everything you know the deal. Ciao. Oh.